Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. Today we're in our F14B Tomcat and we're going to look at countermeasures through the Jester. So when I say countermeasures, I mean expendables in terms of chaff and flare cartridges as well as the DECM as well as the RWR. So let's get straight to it. Press the A key, press the A key again for main menu, countermeasures and RWR. So we'll just go through it in a logical fashion. First of all, CMS mode. Click on that there. And we've got off, manual, or chaff auto. So this is regarding the chaff and flare dispensing system. We can have the system turned off, so we get no chaff and flare. Manual control, where the Rio gets full control of the chaff and flare expendables, and the pilot gets some control. So this would be the default position. Also, we've got chaff auto here. If we have it in chaff auto, then the manual system still applies as it does there. But additionally, the RWR, the radar warning receiver, can take control and send out ch programs of chaff itself. So if we have this turned on and uh, we fly past the SAM site, that SAM site locks us up, then the RWR will automatically send a chaff pro program out to try and defeat that lock. And we can see the current mode we have in the middle there. Back to the CMS menu. Next we have flare mode. So hover over there, press A. This is simulating a three-way switch that's on the Rio's main countermeasure panel. We get flare pilot. Without this selected, if the pilot presses his countermeasure button, then one chaff will come out. If we have this selected, then when the pilot presses his countermeasure button, one flare will come out. Flare normal, so this just means that the flares are normal with regards to the Rio. So if the Rio presses the flare button, single flare button once, one flare comes out. Flare multi, this means that if the Rio presses his single flare, flare button once, then instead of a single flare coming out, a single flare comes out per quarter of flares equipped. You can equip up to four quarters of flares. So for instance, if you took 60 flares and zero chaff, you would have four quarters of flares and four flares would come out. If you had 30 chaff and 30 flares, you would have two quarters. And if you press the single flare button with flare multi selected, then two flares would come out. Back to the CMS menu. Next, we have the chaff program. So chaff and flares can be dispensed either in single firings or in programs. And here's where we set the program for the chaff. We'll only have one active program for chaff and one active for flares. When dealing with a chaff program, we have two elements, a burst and a salvo. So I'm just gonna start down here because it's easier for me. This one here has a burst of two chaffs with 0.12 seconds in between. So that is the burst, that is one chaff, wait 0.12 seconds, then one more chaff. Then a salvo is a series of bursts with an interval. So the salvo is four with four seconds in between. So what this is actually going to do is send a burst of chaff out, one chaff, 0.12 seconds, then one chaff, then wait four seconds, then fire that burst again, then wait four seconds, fire the burst again, wait four seconds, fire that burst again. So in total, eight chaff cartridges will be fired. Down here, exactly the same, except the salvo is eight. So in this case, a total of 16 cartridges will be fired. In fact, this here is basically just this times two. Another deviation, each burst is four chaffs with 0.12 seconds in between. So we'll fire that burst, wait four seconds, fire that burst, wait four seconds, all of that four times, four salvos. So that will be a total of 16 chaffs fired. And this here is basically two of these added onto the end of each other with 32 chaffs fired in total. In this case here, the burst quantity is random. So the burst is a random amount of chaffs with one second in between each firing. And then it's gonna run that burst eight times with two second interval between each burst. So this is a random amount of chaffs with random intervals in between the firing. And the intervals are up to one second, I believe. And we're gonna run that burst once. This one, the burst is a random amount of chaffs with a random interval in between, below a second. And we're gonna run that total burst four times with six second interval in between each burst. So I want that one. And you can see which one is selected here. Roger that. Next we'll have the flare program. It's just a simplified version of the chaff. Do you want two flares fired with an interval of two seconds? Four flares fired with an interval of two seconds in between each. 
10 fired with two seconds in between each and so on okay so next we need to tell jester whether to fire single countermeasure cartridges or to whether to fire the programs that we've looked at so we're going to go to the control order currently his priority for chaff is tight his priority for flare is single so if we want him to run a program as his priority for chaff we'll click there and come back in so his program priority is now chaff and we can make his priority for flare program if we like if we don't want that we've got chaff single we can have we've got flare single and we've got chaff tight and we've got flare tight now i'm not sure what tight is i've asked heat blur but they haven't got back to me yet but i'm going to assume it means not to use chaff and not to use flares at all and we will set flares here to our program so that is the chaff and flare done now we're on to the rwr setting up the radar warning receiver here we can choose the priority mode do we want it on normal this is where it uses its basic priority table as as programmed and as default ai this is where it will now prioritize any airborne threats over other threats triple a where it prioritizes triple a here where it triple where it prioritizes a u an unknown this is often a ship or here where it prioritizes friendly units back to the main menu and our last option here is the jammer the decm there are only two options for this we can have it on standby where it is listening and computing but not transmitting noise or we can have it on x bit which is what it's selected to here where it does all of that but it also transmits noise so if we were to press on it here once it's in transmit it would then go to standby you just got those two modes to choose from now what i've said about these three systems is a very simple description i've done four tutorials on each of these systems of how to use them manually and what all this actually means you'll find it in the f14b youtube playlist but that's all i wanted to show today for the jester i hope that helps see you later